How you going, big world? It's KJ Cool here. Let's go. Welcome back, all my gorgeous people of the big world. Happy New Year 2021. I hope everyone drank a lot of pimp juice. I know I did. Anyway, let's get on to who we're going to talk about when cosplay goes wrong. Nah, man, I'm not talking about cosplay. You know what I'm talking about. You know, Miss Iguana. It just made me laugh because someone said to me she put on a cosplay outfit around the wrong way. And I don't know very much about cosplay. Pretty funny. Must mean something. You got to get that shit right, hey? Surely. And they said that maybe she's got brain worms. She's definitely got brain worms. Hey, Iguana. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Oh, don't you start saying that again. It's 2021. Thought you weren't going to say it this year. Oh, my God. So I just wanted to cover some things I've been thinking about. A lot of people say that she's Asperger or has OCD. I also want to look into if she really understands that she's a Anna fetish. I want to look into whether she's making cash money for the family. I want I want to look into a few things that have been bothering me over the holidays. Thinking about why she is so resistant and in such hardcore denial or is it denial? I don't know. We're going to check it out today. Let's go guys. Do the Cooney siblings have autism, Asperger's, OCD, any of that? I want to look deeper into why people say this. And the thing I'm doing different in my videos is I'm only going to make 10 minute videos. So this whole video, I said I was going to talk about all those things. It's going to be cut up into three parts because I feel I miss information because I want to finish the video because it's too long. So that's why I'm going to be cutting things up. You guys happy about that? I mean, I don't know about you, but I've got a bit of a goldfish concentration. Uh, 10 minutes is max for me on YouTube videos, unless it's a serious dark story on crime that we need a lot of info. Other than that, I just want things to be short. Next. I was born on July 27th, 1994, which makes me Leo. My mom had me two weeks late because she had a very hard time giving birth and I ended up being a C-section. Once I was cut out of my mom's stomach, I was put into a crib. I hated the crib, so my mom kept me in a car seat, which she called a bucket. I never slept much. I was always looking around, wondering how to get out of my bucket. It took me a year to figure that out. I'm watching this clip with you guys because I found it very compelling. It is a very old clip of Iguana, and she seems a lot different. She's quite naive and honest. Yes, honest. But to say... <laughs> Her mum kept her in a bucket. Ah, uh, we all know mum is a bit odd, don't we? I don't think it would be great for a baby to be sleeping in a car seat. I'm not a doctor. I just don't think it would be. That's just my opinion, and I'm allowed to have one. So it's very strange because I'm starting to get the feeling about maybe why people say she's like Asperger's or has OCD, because I'm starting to see the connections. Stay with me. Well, once my legs started working, I started to get into my mom's makeup. From there, I graduated to Bratz dolls. Yasmin was my girl. At school, my teachers told my mom that I was too obsessed with Bratz dolls. They suggested I take writing lessons, but my mom bought me more Bratz dolls instead. That's the point I started thinking she was OCD. Because if your teacher actually has to ring your mom or ask your mom to come in to say you're too obsessed with Bratz dolls, then that's actually quite a big issue because as you, most of you know, I have a son. I was never called up saying, yeah, he, he's completely obsessed with Pokemon cards. Hey, by the way, he was. But not to the point where I uh, needed to be told that this was an issue. So good one, mommy. A, someone that knew a lot more than you, a teacher, love those guys, they thought there may be an issue and you ignored it and went and bought more. I think mommy dearest was one of those mamas that wanted to keep her kid happy at all times and be their friend. I've seen that in videos with her she's odd but the thing is you can be friendly with your kids but you have to be a parent and go no nope, it's hard no one wants to we want them to be happy all the time believe you me but there has to be discipline by the way do you guys reckon that she looks a bit like this Yasmin Bratz doll like she modeled herself of her I've never looked at a Bratz doll in having a, a boy obviously he wasn't into them but man she looks like iguana just thought I'd throw that one up there don't be all weird because I said my son wasn't into dolls because he loved pink tea sets. He loved girl stuff. He just wasn't into dollsies. That kept me happy until Miley Cyrus came around. I had to go to that concert. 
Well, I don't remember too much of her because it was my first time seeing the Jonas Brothers. I loved the Jonas Brothers. We traveled all over to see them from Las Vegas to the Bahamas and even Pittsburgh. Great city. I loved New York. I would miss school here and there to stay in the city. I had no problem doing that. School is never my thing. So her next obsession being Miley Cyrus, Jonas Brothers, travels all over America and goes to the Bahamas to see these people. They got money. This family's got money. And this is before she was making money. So I don't believe she is making money for the fam. I honestly believe that her OCD was just enabled constantly by Mama because she just wanted to be besties and just make her kid happy all the time. I don't know why she wanted to keep her happy. There usually is guilt pushing that. So I just don't know the answers. I just know why people act like that. The guilt has come from somewhere. Who knows? I also had a guidance counselor tell me he wants to be a father to me. So weird and creepy. Why were you seeing the guidance counselor? And by the way, why did he want to be a father figure to you? Obviously you didn't have one. Everyone has speculated that from day one. Anyways, shopping and fashion was more my style. From being in the city often, I was asked to do some modeling jobs. Cool, maybe I'll do this for a living, I thought. Well, I do love modeling, but I also discovered you now one day. I enjoy broadcasting on there so much and I love talking to my fans. It is so much fun. From there, I started making YouTube videos as well, which I so enjoy doing and want to continue with. Everything she said then was pretty cute and innocent. You can hear the excitement in her voice. Like, this is what she wants to do. She actually wanted to be a YouTuber. And I think she fulfilled her dream. But what's happened now is not a dream. When I'm not online, I still go to concerts with my younger brother. He's a huge Disney fan. So we end up vacationing a lot at Disney World. There's never been any confirmation that her brother is autistic. There's also very little on him. It's like the whole of the internet has been scrubbed of anything. And he does have a couple of social media accounts and they're all locked. He's only got 39 subscribers on YouTube with no content. The only thing it says is leave my sister alone. I tend to think maybe he does have autism. Just, just keep watching. At home, we have an adorable pug named Buzz. He's one year old and a lot of fun, except when he gets into my stuff. Not good. My mom and I have always been very close. She is amazing. She really enjoys gardening. One time, she got bit by a tick and ended up with Lyme disease, which she is still in pain with sometimes. That's why I, I tend to feel her mom is not an abuser. I used to think that. But I feel that her mom just maybe thinks she knows too much, doesn't get help for her daughter, and just thinks that she can do it all. That's where the abuse comes in because you know what? That's where there's professionals because we don't know everything. And if you just sit back and do nothing, then you're actually, you are damaging your kid. There's been heaps of times that I've gone to the doctor and psychologist for my son because I haven't known how to deal with stuff. And he hasn't either. What do I do? I go and see a professional. We get the tools, we fix it. It's that easy, man. Woo! Another time while taking out the trash, she tripped and broke her foot. Ouch, that sucks. My grandma comes down and helps a lot, though. She's really cool. She reminds me of Sophia from the Golden Girls. My dad is always busy working in New York City. Wowzers, dad got one line and oh, you can tell just in her voice that she didn't want to say anything about him. My dad works in New York City. He is busy. That says a lot. I graduated high school on Friday. Done. Now I'm going into modeling, making YouTube videos, and I may become a twerking instructor as well. One day, I made a video teaching people how to twerk, and after being posted on World Star Hip Hop, it went viral. Lots of hate, but that's okay. I just keep on twerking. That's sad that she made her big debut onto the interwebs, got a million views for twerking, and got so much hate. So from day one, she's been used to hate. That's weird. For such a young girl to have such a thick skin. Which makes me think at home, people are just telling her the opposite. Like, don't believe it. Everyone's a hater. And that's exactly how she treats us. Everyone that doesn't agree with her and says, you've got an ED, you're really ill, she just goes, nah. Because I reckon at home, mum and bro are like, hey, you're awesome. Don't listen to all the haters. She's like one of those kids that was just kept in a, a bubble. You see them on Australia's Got Talent, America's Got Talent, any of those shows, and they turn up and they think they're the most awesome singer and they're so bad. But mum or dad or, or both are standing on the side going, you're awesome. That is also damaging. You gotta be honest to your kids, man. You can't just go, you are just awesome and they're really bad. Because then they grow up and they, they fall 
hard. She hasn't though. Sing random songs. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Everything will be alright if you keep me next to you. You don't know about me, but I bet you want to. Everything will be alright if we just keep dancing like we're 22. Ooh. 22. I don't know about you. Well, that was awkward. See the guy standing outside the Four Seasons Five Star Hotel? He's just watching him awkwardly because I believe he's a guest. Because if he wasn't a guest, he'd move him on. But I think they're staying there because they're rich bitches. She doesn't need to have a job. So this picture of him sitting in a room making sock puppets, the first time I saw it, I was like, well, he just looks like he's in some form of therapy. Not therapy like counselling, but like maybe for autism, you know, learning to socialise, communicate, all the rest of it. Then the next thing, they're going to live in LA for a year because he's going to animation school. That's cool. He's probably awesome at drawing. And then I saw his drawings and I'm like, oh man, I don't like to judge, but I'm a really crappy drawer. I make really crappy cartoons and you've seen them. I put him in my video. For someone that's been to animation school, they should be way, way better at drawing than he is. And then I read Birthday Prede. I don't know if he spelt it wrong or whether it was just... So why is he so overweight? I mean, he's not just overweight. He's actually morbidly obese. And I'm not putting him down. He really is. And she is morbidly too thin. This question plays on my mind. Why have they got one mor morbidly obese kid and one morbidly underweight kid? As I've told you many times I'm no doctor with a degree but I have a degree in other things and I just feel that there is one huge connection here they both seem very obsessive which is a uh, autism it's on that spectrum a lot of the attributes that these people have OCD autism they cross over and OCD people suffer with anorexia and they also suffer with overeating autism they, all these things cross over which makes me think you've got two kids they don't look the same but they seem to have very similar obsessions and issues. And it's actually a pretty sad thing because there is thousands, millions of parents out there that don't want to acknowledge it. I had a best friend from school that had an autistic kid and she just didn't want to accept it. And she lost friends. Well, she lost me as a friend because I couldn't deal with her husband constantly saying, can you tell her that our kid isn't right? And I'm like, ah oh, man, that's not my job. If she doesn't want to recognize it, that's her deal. But I couldn't be around it because the excuses were through the roof. Oh, she's got this, she's got that. Nah, mate, she's just freaking autistic. Uh, I don't have to be a doctor to say that. She, you know, from the minute she walked, she walked on tippy toes. You sang happy birthday, she banged her head with her hands. Like, it was almost like textbook, but this friend of mine could not deal with it. And that is precisely what I think has happened to Mrs. Deborah Cooney. I don't think she's accepted it. And I think she's worked out a way to deal with them, keep them happy, and just keep life going along smoothly because she seems to be a perfectionist. Like anytime I've seen Iguana walk through the house, it is immaculate. It's gorgeous looking. Everything is in, in its right place. And then I started thinking, just after watching her walk through the house the other day, I started bloody thinking, maybe mum's got OCD. Have you guys ever thought about that? Because, oh my God, I can't even watch the videos with her mum and them because she's so odd. She's really odd. And I'm not putting it down. She's just got a very strange personality. Iguana makes them all look very normal and if you just look at iguana on her own she looks very abnormal she's comparing herself to people who are pretty abnormal every day that's what i mean about them living in a bubble and it's when people from the outside like jack and glenn and all these people that start commenting going hey 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 this isn't very normal they're like what are you talking about this is the way we've always lived you know stockholm syndrome brainwashing type stuff i don't think it's a purposeful thing and i don't think it's a malicious thing i really have come to terms with i think her mum thinks she's doing her best and her best well it ain't the best is it we can see that like like i hope you guys understand what i've been saying today what i've been trying to get across to you we're going to talk about in my next part why she doesn't have any friends because she used to have a lot why she doesn't do collabs anymore because she used to do a lot of them too and then the third part we're going to talk about you know what those sexy anna fetish iguana lovers you know, all the Davids, the ones that just can't stop throwing cash at her. I'll see you next time in part two. And by the way, I'm well aware that I went for 15 minutes. I really tried to go for 10. Man, it's hard.
ways. I love you, big world. Thanks for watching. Love everyone for subscribing, liking, commenting. Use your little jazz hands and press all the buttons. And if you subscribe, just let me know because I'll be sending you 50 years of free good vibes from me to you. And seriously, that is a bloody bargain these days. Cheers. Bolas.